Hey guys, Stag, Wolf and Stag Wastelander. So I'm out here in the car again doing another car video. Uh, this is just going to be a quick video. I want to get it out because I've tried this video three different times now. And I just, my blood pressure just goes up and I get angrier and angrier. So I'm going to get it out of the way and I'm going to talk about it real quick. Liberal Tears Gun Oil, because America. All right, guys, I'm back. So, Parler has been hacked by a leftist activist, and I'm going to put her name up in a little card or on the bottom of the screen somewhere here. Um, I've saved her information because if something were to happen to me, because I, I posted on Parler, I never posted anything about... Uh, I was never involved with it. I never even went to D.C. I kind of, I wanted to go to D.C. to go to the Trump rally, the final Trump rally. But then I just, I couldn't afford it. And frankly, I wasn't going to go to Washington, D.C. because Antifa was showing up in my safety. But that's beside the point. So we have this little activist or she likes to say she's a hacker. Well, she hacked, she did hack the servers of Parler. And she has everyone's information, including uh, identification cards that are used for verification. And she's posting their names and addresses on the internet. And all I want to say is, isn't that doxing? Isn't that a criminal act? Well, it is. And she's inciting liberals, other leftists, other communists to go to their houses. Now, you guys, I don't know about you, but, you know, them deleting the digital book burning that's going on right now that to me just screams of what the Nazis did it screams of what the communist Russians did what the Bolsheviks the Soviets did it screams of all the stuff that the Chinese did the Chinese Communist Party did and then this incident where she hacks the servers and gets everyone's information Posted all over the internet. Now, isn't that doxing? Because I'm pretty sure, one, that's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. You post people's names and addresses to their homes, that's illegal. That's doxing, it's criminal, and it can get you a lot of criminal charges, especially if something happens to somebody in that home. Number two, the threats and harassment from the left. Now, they're allowed to put threats and harassment on Twitter, but if you call somebody out, like, in the case that I did on our Twitter account, I called Sean Hannity a pussy and said that he, for what he said about Ashley Babbitt, and that he would never, his program would never be allowed in our house again, and I stand by that. But if you do that, that's threatening and harassment. But actual calling for physical violence and threatening and harassment is not actual threatening and harassment. So I don't understand Twitter's policies. And now I wake up today and Twitter's crying because Uganda Uganda, they're, they're blocking Twitter because of our election. Meanwhile, you have this little bitch on here, on Twitter, posting at people's private information, private conversations between them and other users, and uh, and their, their personal home information. You're doxing them. You're finding out where they live. Well, you're going to get somebody hurt doing that. And that's, that's the problem. The left, the left has not learned any consequences. No matter what we do, the left has never gotten any consequences for it. And it just, it just, this has been chapping my ass for the last two days that I've known about it. So I decided to get a video made about it. But it, it's just, I don't know. You guys tell tell us what down in the comments what you think. To me, this is upsetting. That the left is going and doing this. They're attacking gun owners. They've already the internet's already being scrubbed of places like AR15.com 
um, they're already going after our firearms and our ammunition right out the gate and the potato hasn't even been sworn in yet the potato and the hooker haven't been sworn in yet and they're going right after our guns and ammunition and then we have this happening and and Jack Dorsey allows it on Twitter now, I've saved this gal's Twitter tweets and her Twitter information I'm sure she'll try to delete them and I'm sure there's other people out there that have archived them but all I gotta say is if something happens and somebody shows up to my house because she posted my information as a Trump supporter she's gonna face some legal recourses that she's not gonna like and I'm gonna see her in court and I'm gonna own her and her parents and I'm gonna own Twitter for allowing it and I'm gonna own whatever other website that hosts the stuff at for for damages they're gonna be liable for damages They are going to owe me because I know how the left is. I know how the left operates. They harass and they attack and they do whatever they can to harm people. Now, this isn't a threat. This is a promise. I'm going to go. I've already spoken to uh, several friends of mine who are attorneys. And they told me that if something happens because of it, then I have complete legal recourse to go against her. And that includes having a job taken away from me because of her posting stuff but the left doesn't think about the consequences because they're the kids that were never spanked when they were growing up they were the kids that were never that were given everything and mommy and daddy just bent to their will now, that's not the way I was raised it's not the way my kids are raised so you guys know how I feel about everything and it really it pisses me off and, and I, like I said this is the third time I've done this video and every time I just get angrier and angrier as I'm doing it so I'm trying to trying to remain as calm as possible but this is just even more reason why I, I push keeping your head on a swivel now I didn't say anything inflammatory I had wrong speak against the left yes but I never said anything inflammatory I never said anything that uh, would would be condone would be considered threatening or or anything like that but the fact remains that the left gets no gets no recourse there's no legal actions taken against the left nothing happens to them Or we back down and we turn the other cheek and we let them do it. Well, I'm not backing down. I sure as hell will never turn the other cheek to a leftist. You're not going to come after me. You're not going to come after my family because of my views and my opinions. No, it's just not going to happen. But that's that's exactly how I feel about this whole situation. I just it it, it burns me that these people are going after people because they have wrong thing and I hate doing these damn videos I want to go out and I want to shoot my gun I want to be able to have ammo to go shoot my guns I want to be able to go out do some exploration and survival videos but it seems like more and more every day I got to do these videos I mean they scrubbed I, I already talked about them scrubbing parlor and now this with this gal um, AR15.com has been scrubbed off the internet by GoDaddy um, they're taking down more and more pro-gun pro 2a stuff every day more anti 2a stuff is coming out our rights are being infringed and the more we stand up the more the deep state gets angry they thought the $600 Problems that they threw us well they threw billions of dollars to other countries most of whom hate us <coughs> they uh, they don't do anything to stop the left or stop the violence in fact they encourage the left to get more violent more radical and and we're left here that we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. We're damned if we defend ourselves and we're damned if we don't. 
So I don't know what to do. I, I, I have a feeling that something very bad is coming for this nation and it's going to happen. I have a feeling that the next, the coming weeks are not going to be pleasant and they're only going to be the beginning and things are only going to get worse. Now, I'm not, not big into the Q conspiracy stuff. I don't really believe it. And if you guys that watch us do, that's your thing. But I'm not. No, I never really was big on Alex Jones, but the more I'm watching him, the more I'm realizing that Alex Jones has been right about a lot of stuff. And that kind of scares me. So, I just, I sit here and I think about, you know, my family could be at jeopardy because this little bitch on the internet wants to go and uh, dox people because they have different thoughts and different values and different opinions than her her Kool-Aid flavored hair bullshit does. That pisses me off. I'm not I'm not saying to do anything. I'm not calling for anybody to do anything. I'm just venting my frustration with this. How she's allowed to uh, go on, be on Twitter and say the stuff she says, do the stuff she's done, and no repercussions because she's she's of the right thinking, the right mindset for them. And it, it irritates the hell out of me. I don't I don't know what else to say other than it irritates the hell out of me. So I don't know what's going to happen in the future. I don't know if anyone's going to bring a lawsuit against her and Jack Dorsey and Amazon. If they do, I'm going to jump on it and I'm going to get my money out of it. But let me know what you guys think. Put your comments in the in the comments below. Um, remember that everything is down in the links in the or down in, all of our other links are down in the description box below. Um, I encourage you guys to go to BitChute Rumble, uh, the YouTube channel. Subscribe to us, like us, share us out, comment, you know, like our videos, get everything out. Do what you guys can to help us spread. Um, if you guys can, please donate to us on PayPal until they shut that off. Um, Patreon, we're still working on trying to get videos back up on there, but Vimeo, Vimeo torched us. So, you know, you guys, just uh, just stay safe. And we'll try to we'll try to get through this. We'll try to make some videos. We'll try to talk about this. So, you know, stay with us, and uh, we'll get through this together. And as always, this has been Stag with Wolf and Stag Wastelanders, and I'll see you in the wasteland.